I'm going to be talking to you about these little soccer balls and the great ball contraption. So here we go. We're starting at the beginning of the loop. We've got Tom Atkinson's train that's stuck right now. Shh, don't tell him. All right, so the train dumps and the balls start down the path. So uh, they roll on down in here and they come up inside of Jeremy's big lifting thing and they spin down the sides and we have a great time watching the balls go further into uh, Benjamin Moody's uh, modules. Uh, Jeremy's brother who isn't here, but Jeremy was nice enough to bring his stuff. So uh, we got balls rolling down through these nice little lifts that uh, push them along slowly and then a nice homemade chain here. And then they roll down to Jeremy's uh, big old probability buster. So if we step down to that, you know, here, here you got balls that go in and they, they build up the bell curve and then on a timer then after a certain time it just dumps the balls out. Half of them stay in the module to recirculate, half of them move on. And so as we move on to the next part, he's got a little chain output here that, that, that lifts the balls back up and feeds them on. And then they're dropping into a new module that, that initially was Bill Anjo's module, but we're going to call it a collaboration now because there are about five of us that, that worked with Bill to get this wave module running this weekend. Uh, Rafe Donahue and myself and Jeremy and Tom and Bill, we're all we all worked hard to get it done, and it's up and running now. It's been running great all day. And then we move on to this set of four modules that all look the same. And this is one of the, the brick rolled stacker modules, but Bill has spread them out linear so that uh, they, they, they go up. And uh, we'll see at the other end of the display a set of modules like this that go spiral. So moving on from there, you get to another old brick rolled uh, class kit that Bill has made four copies of. and. Uh, we just run down this whole set of, head of class kits, and they're just simple uh, chains uh, lifting up, lifting up the balls and, and moving them forward. And, and then we get to this massive red counter. What in the world? Yeah, it's 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 made by Mr. Red, so it had to be red, right? So it's a it's a big binary mechanical counter, and you see the dials down the side here that are indicating how many balls have passed through today. Uh, last time I checked, we were somewhere in the neighborhood of 12,000. Oh, uh, there you go. We're up to 14,000 balls. You hear the peanut gallery yell. <laughs> so uh, so Bill's got this bad boy up and running. And uh, Josh, if you can focus up here at the top, uh, you see this axle, everyone? Yeah, we're going to be working on that by the end of the weekend. It's kind of bowed. So uh, there's some work here. I see some plastic dust. There, there's definitely... This is the GBC. Yeah. It, does, it goes without saying. There's plastic there's dust. Plastic dust. So, so moving on past the output, you have a, another wave module that I believe Bill also made. And then it feeds on down into a uh, stair step module made by Tom Atkinson. And this, this obviously, this module's been around a long time. A uh, great module, very reliable, very consistent. And, and then a, a simple rotary pusher here that, that moves the balls on. Uh, into an Archimedes screw and, and this is a nice Archimedes screw because it can also be set to recirculate so we can capture balls here if we have trouble. Um, and the inside of the screw, are those uh, arches? Uh, those are, those, yeah, inverted, those are inverted arches? Inverted or? arches. I, I believe those are, well those aren't inverted arches, they are the bottom piece, the, of, the bottom the piece of an arch, yeah. Right. And then uh, one by five half thick lift arms uh, that, that make the screw itself. It's very slick. And then a simple uh, single step lifter here by Tom Atkinson. And then another uh, chain module and a couple more simple uh, single step lifters. Then we get to this really cool new module here we're going to talk about a bit. Phil Udy put this in. This is the first time this has been shown. It's had a few issues. Now I'm going to straighten out a little stuck, stuck here right now. But it's a mechanical switching module. So if you watch, each of the four lifters, they don't go up if they don't have a ball. So they're actually mechanically detecting the ball. You can see the, uh, the, the axle being pushed in and out of the, the place where the ball drops in. And when the, the axle gets stopped by a ball, it, it turns the other side of a differential, which actually causes the arm to lift. So it's a really neat mechanical concept uh, to just make the things move that have to move. That's pretty amazing. And then we're in some old hat modules here. Tom's, Tom's lifter in, in little uh, water wheel module that's that's uh, bringing some balls in recirculate and dropping some balls out to the next, uh, where we have the where we have the inverted uh, treads inside here rolling around and, and picking the balls up and dumping them on out. 
into the old reliable shooter. And if, if you notice right here on the top, we've added a brick to this one. Uh, Tom only brings this for a certain reason. This this particular mock is only here to annoy Tom. So, uh, and, and it's been working all day. I mean, annoying him, not actually operating. Uh, okay. Right. Very so, nice. Very nice. So then we get to uh, the pneumatic the pneumatic bulldozer. The pneumatic bulldozer lift is next, and uh, I think everyone's seen this. We're dropping them into the buckets, and it slowly moves them forward. Uh, we got a bit of a back of the balls here now, but it, it'll catch up. Then we get to a, another little one ball single step module. Uh, again, Tom Atkinson's, and then his little four ball hopper here, uh, moving the balls up. This is a really cool module we've always loved. And uh, another, it's Tom's, and down the long ramp we go. And then we get to the black, the black lifting kind of semi wave module. It's really not much of a wave, it's more of a scoop that's dumping itself. And then the really cool compression lift here, where uh, this this is mechanically changing direction by turning uh, switches, polarity switches, at each end as it goes up and down. So it's uh, self-regulating, so there's no NXT or RCX attached to that. This one looks a little bit evil. I, I've not felt that way about a module until just now. This it looks a little evil. Yeah, it, it's been kind of evil today. The balls get underneath and they get stuck. Yeah. But, you know, uh, again, it is the GBC. Yes. All right. And then we're on to this nice NXT base counter module that Tom has. Uh, just counting away on the balls. I don't know what the count is on the other side. One, six, nine, six, six, seven, oh, a little discrep seven, little discrepancy between this side of the <laughs> this side of the table and that side of the table. I'm sure a couple balls maybe. Uh, it, could be, it could be that there was some bypassing going on. You yeah, never know. You yeah, never know. Yeah. And then we have a brand new module here by a brand new participant in GBC. And I apologize, I don't know his name, but he came in with this nice simple tread lift and an awesome use of these these tan tracks uh, with these fork. Uh, what are what are these? Uh, just. This it's is incredible. A, and, I'm yeah, not made sure, by, by Peter Bradbury. Peter Bradbury. That's his name. Yeah, Peter Bradbury did this. I'm sure so of the origin of this. Is, this, uh, this needed a little tweaking here and there when he put it up yesterday, but we got we got a couple little bugs worked out of it, and it's been running hotness all day, baby. Uh, loved it. Very simple, very effective. Yes, absolutely. Uh, again, another another one of Tom's modules, a simple rotary lift, uh, just a, a set of five of them to push it up. Uh, we're upset with Tom because he's got almost the brick world colors here but not quite even what this tan stuff is about we're gonna have to get those reorganized yes. so they, they match the plates and then the big old ferris wheel that, that just awes the kids when they walk up because it's something that stands tall and tall is always good all right ye old push lift here uh yeah i still remember the days when tom's had troubles with this before he added these little tracks inside that really made it run smooth and nothing gets jammed anymore. This has run great all day long, no troubles. And then another simple tread lift here uh, brings the balls up, drops it into this nice, nice passive module. Just balls just roll down this module to the other end. So the, the big red tunnel, the tunnel of love perhaps. The tunnel of love of the GBC, you never know. And then we're into another one of Tom's wave modules. And that wave module then moves us on into the drawbridge module that allows people like me to get in and out without boys, having to crawl on the, on the floor. Yep, yep. And you can't, I can't tell you how much we appreciate those modules. Moving on across the bridge here, we get, we get to another one of Tom's little shooter modules. Tom, Tom is really big into throwing the balls in the air. I, I love it. I mean, that's what people, people, they're impressive. You know, not always the most reliable modules on the table, but they are impressive modules, and that's that's part of the coolness. Uh-oh, we got a jam. So, Is it just here in the back? Then, we, then we roll into... It appears we might have a jam situation a little further on down the track. Pause for one second. Can we pause for one yeah, second? One, one pause, one second. All right, now back from our commercial break, right? Then we're into, it was a good time for a break because we switched from Tom to Rafe Donahue. So then we have a whole slew of Rafe Donahue's little modules here uh, from a little homemade chain lift uh, with, with this most interesting agitator here where the whole input bin shaking up and down. 
uh, to a simple another one of the Brickworld uh, workshop modules from a couple years ago and down into a nice smooth wave module that Rafe has made. And the other thing about these, you notice is the shaft running along the back. This is this whole set of modules powered by one motor way down here at the far end and it, it drives this whole set of five modules. So he's, you know, he's green, man. He saves power for us. Uh, it's all good. Then another, another, another little chain lift module into another chain lift module that brings the balls up and down a long ramp. Nice little castle. You gotta, you gotta appreciate the, the castle decoration that Rafe did. Let's, on. let's just take a moment to appreciate that sand red. <sighs> you know, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, another commercial break over. There's nothing in my drink cup. <clears throat> uh, the ice cream man, stop me when you're passing by. All right, so we're, then we're out of, out of Rafe's modules and we're into, oh, hey, these are my modules. What? Yeah, I know, I actually brought stuff. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Brian. So, so we got we got the start of the, the, the stacker module from Brickworld this year and we didn't have many to add to it, so we just left my module standalone as a, as a small stack. We're, we're a short stack here, we're not a tall stack. So, uh, full stack. Full stack, that's right, not a full stack. And then, uh, then we got a, a, a new module that uh, was created a few months ago. Um, I work collaboratively with, collaboratively with a with a nine-year-old that has been wanting to be part of the GBC. He helps us with the GBC in Fort Wayne every year, and, and he's a little ball watcher, but he wanted to make a module, so I worked with him, and he got a little module running. This is his third event. It's run flawlessly for all three events. Funny a nine-year-old builds a better module than a 45-year-old. Not so bad. Well, a little help, maybe, yeah, okay. you know. There you go. It, it was the teacher. That's right. It's all about the teacher. All right, we got some some jam issue going on here. I don't know what's going on. That doesn't sound good. Got a little gear slipping. This is all part of the GBC mystique. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, well, that's what we got going on here. We got people that have pushed the output ramp into the wrong place. So you got to fix. If you don't fix your own modules. No one else will do it. Tisk tisk. It happens. Well, we'll just leave that off for the moment. And we'll move on. What you're witnessing? This is GBC. This is real GBC. This is not fake GBC. This is not polished GBC. This is real raw GBC. Raw, raw, raw. absolutely raw. All right. Then we're then we're into the the big old uh, shush module. Which uh, you know, it's a nice homemade chain that I did about ten years ago. One of the very first modules I made. And uh, then, then the drop does like a ski, a ski run. And uh, McDonald's characters on the slopes making an appearance back, inside. Back, back to a couple of Rafe's modules here. We got a nice Archimedes screw running up, and then another stair module. Um, then we move it, and then we move back into a couple of my modules. This is kind of a cool uh, uh, blue steps. It's been around for nine, ten years, but it's gone through a little facelift lately. Uh, in that now, if it jams it automatically changes directions and keeps running. So a jam just flips the polarity switch over and, and the module keeps on working just like nothing happened. That's pretty so, slick. So Self-correcting GBC module. If you're going to build one, that's what we want to see. Yeah. And we got another another uh, double step module that moves balls in a little bit bigger batches than the, than the narrower steps. Uh, another one of the Brickworld stacker modules made by Rafe. And then we're to the uh, train loading station and uh, the rest of the, the rest of the loops closed by the train running around. So that's, that's it. about it. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us, Brian. Total of 59 modules. Uh, we're thrilled to be here. You know, if you're, if you're in Alabama tomorrow, come on out. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Brian.